So after the tail, it's onto the fuselage, and there are a few changes here I wanted to show you. Firstly, we've got a single channel now for the carbon fibre rather than a double channel when we sandwich the parts. Um, this means that uh, there's more accuracy in the placing of the, uh, of the carbon fibre. Also, and in the instructions, it shows you that this portion of the, uh, the fuselage, which sits under the wing and is actually um, an external fuel tank, uh, which you'll see once it's all stickered up, this actually needs to be cut away from the body by, uh, by yourself. Um, and it's a simple process and uh, just requires you to use your knife and go through the parts as, uh, as instructed in the, uh, in the manual. That should then come free and provide us with a separate part that we need to keep for uh, a later stage. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you that we've been able to incorporate is there's a little notch in the rear of the fuselage and that is just to show you where the undercarriage sits. It's also, there's in, in the instruction manual, there's a, a distance measurement too, so you can just check that for yourselves. When assembling the fuselage, you might find that the quick release tray uh, that actually sits uh, on the, within the fuselage, um, there might be a little bit of a protrusion of the plastic material into this area here. Um, very simply, uh, just trim that from the, uh, from the part uh, because this area needs to be kept clean for the uh, for the cabane struts to uh, to sit in and uh, so you can just remove that from the uh, from the part it's only a tiny little bit may not be a problem but um, if it is just trim it away I know this is part of every build but I think it's worth saying on every video that um, includes a build don't forget before you insert the aileron servo, connect it up to your receiver and plug it in just to test that the special arm that's been created for, the, um, for controlling the ailerons is actually sitting as close to center as possible. Um, if you don't do that, uh, you install, install the servo, uh, plug it all in create the plane, switch it on, and it's not centered, you'll find you'll have to, you, you're restricted in the movement that you get from your, uh, from your ailerons because you've got to trim uh, over to the left or to the right. Um, so, as I said, always check the servo before it gets mounted into the fuselage. Actually, just as an example here, I've, um, I've just done exactly that myself. I've, uh, I've plugged the servo in. I put the arm on centrally, as I thought, um, before powering up the servo. And as you can see, uh, when once the servo is powered up, the servo actually centralizes itself where it thinks it should be. And as you can see, if I'd actually not checked, that would be the alignment of my, uh, of my servo uh, when it was in the neutral position, so I'd have to trim the hell out of it to actually get it to sit central. Then my movement would be completely restricted. So it's worth doing that check. That means that I can now take this off, reposition it, and then I can screw it down, and I've got a perfect central position. Obviously, the other thing is to check on your transmitter that the trim on your aileron control is central. Uh, already is that uh, has been centered uh, right there so um, there we go that's the uh, the big tip for uh, this installment another little tip that's worth repeating is that uh, once we've got the aileron servo installed and we've actually got our uh, control rods and control tube installed on the port side of the fuselage. Of course, the next step is to actually put the, uh, the port side um, fuselage sticker on. Now, obviously we've got the aileron servo control horn sticking out either side, which makes it 
quite unwieldy. Um, the best thing to do is grab the inner tray from the, uh, the kit and then you can use it wherever you like um, to actually lay your, uh, lay your fuselage flat so that it's nice and stable for you to actually uh, apply that sticker. We've got the fuselage at a uh, stage now where we need to attach the tail to it um, and then we can start the build on the uh, on the lower wing. Now just for those of you who haven't uh, built a, a Micro Aces kit before, the control rods um, sit either side of this protrusion here on the uh, on the mounting tray. Um, you've got the one that has a, a, a curve in it sitting to the top, that's the actual rudder control, and the lower one, which is more angular, um, sits at the, the, the bottom, running either side of, uh, other side of this, this protrusion, as I said. Um, and obviously then they come out the, uh, the tail here, ready to be attached to the, uh, the control horns uh, once, the, uh, once the tail is in position. So the method of attaching the tail uh, to the fuselage is a simple um, slot in one. Now before you slot that on, and uh, it's a good idea to apply some adhesive um, to those areas there so it uh, holds this in place, but also this area here that the, uh, the, the actual uh, horizontal um, stabilizer goes either side of. If you give that a little bit of a squeeze there um, just so that it uh, loosens it up so that when the tail goes on it's a nice really tight fit um, but it's not too wide that it's a real struggle to uh, to get this on there. So uh, apply some glue, give that a little bit of a squeeze and then we can sit this onto, uh, onto the tail area and, uh, and ensure that it's all lined up uh, let the glue dry. So the tail is now fixed to the fuselage. We've got it all lined up so that it's nice and square. Uh, it doesn't take much. It should actually just neatly fit into uh, into its position and settle there nicely. Um, but to uh, to let that dry off fully, once again get our uh, get our mounting tray and we can just let it sit there. What I don't want to do is for it to sit on one side like that putting pressure and it may twist and the alignment may go out so we'll just pop it down there leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes with the Yoohoo and, uh, and it should dry out nicely. The last little detail to go on to the fuselage before we put it aside and uh, start the construction of the lower wing is that the uh, the open cockpit has this front windscreen structure and prior to us applying the uh, the extra Depron on the cheeks on either side of the, uh, the, the front portion of the fuselage um, we can apply this uh, this little sticker here so we'll go ahead and do that screen in place.